No? Ugh. Oh god. Uh, okay, we're not gonna do anything right now. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We're back in Eyes of Ara, and as you'll notice, we're not in the third area, the area beyond this door. Uh, the reason for that is, I thought we could take the first part of this episode and do a little catch-up in terms of some of the things I may have overlooked or forgotten to do in the first two areas. And the first thing we're going to do is this thing with the handles, because we found the code downstairs behind the bookcase. The other thing is, thanks for, thank you guys for all the comments. Uh, I know that I have to look under the beds to um, find something that may or may not relate to the bricks downstairs. And then there's also at least one face downstairs that I have missed, and I'll talk about that. Uh, in a second, because I don't think I'm going to subject you to my pixel hunting. I'm just going to probably cut it and show you when I find that head. Uh, you know, the one where you like oh, light up the eyes around the the the, the bricked-in archway. Anyway, so let's do this one first. So we found a code. It goes like this: down, up. Now the next symbol is actually just a dash. And since uh, if you notice that the codes go one two one two one two, I think the code is empty. Okay go and the next one is square notice that we're again alternate we keep alternating again we're alternating then the next are two blank spaces so blank one blank two and does it open anything nice ah okay so this is what i think we've missed out on or i've missed out on is collectibles now we've got these two blue orbs I get the very real suspicion that these are the, the one collectible. Somebody mentioned that collectibles are not always just for show. This one probably actually matters. First off, it's central. Second of all, it's bigger. Uh, third of all, these are not more straightforward puzzles, but they're puzzles that you actually see rather than have to hunt for. You know, secret bookcase, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that said, not secret bookcase because we got the, um, I think we either got a yellow or a blue orb back there. But, like, they're not hidden in shadows and, like, you know, play with the geometry. Whereas all the rest of them eh, kind of have to play with the geometry a little bit. So, one, two, three, four. Now we got all the coins. Good. Uh, let's go check out what's in the bedroom. Okay. Now under the beds is where I'm supposed to be looking. So, look at that. We got a photo and a journal with a lot of missing pages. Yikes. It's not fair. I don't want to leave just because mom is scared of some stupid lights. I want to stay here with uncle. I told her I'm not afraid of them, but she won't listen. I can't leave. Not now. I still haven't found my way into the tall tower. I need to get in. I need to know what's up there. Did not help to say something underneath the... No, there we go. The other bed. Uh, I think I've figured it out. If I'm understanding everything right, I have to set the middle brick in the third row into the correct position last of all. Then the door should open. It's time to see what secrets Crazy Catherine has been hiding. Has. Has been hiding. I'm going to try tonight once everyone is in bed. Maybe I can find something in there to scare Alex. I told him if he keeps tearing pages out of my journal, her ghost would come and get me in the night. Maybe I can make good on that threat. Mwahahahahaha. <laughs> so that's why all the pages are missing in the journal. You know what, that's... Okay, so that one line is awesome. I'm actually really happy that you guys pointed out that I should look over here. Uh, not even so much that it gives us a clue for the brick puzzle, which we're going to head to right now. But... Uh... It gives an explanation for why are all these notes lying around the house. Now, it could be that, you know, she's just leaving notes. On the other hand, it's so much more, not even lore appropriate, but it's so much more gratifying to me that, that the devs took the time. I'm pulling this out for a reason. I'll explain it in a second. Uh, the devs took the time to explain that, no, it's her brother that's tearing all the pages out and just scattering them across the house because they're loose pages, uh, which is why they're lying around. So, now... Uh, why did I pull them all out? Because the note said set them in the correct position. And I use the word set, at least in, in the first instance, to mean push. Now, it said we're going to set this brick, the middle in the third row, last. Here's the thing. If you remember the note about, you know, the, the diagram of the bricks. One, two, three, four, five. These were, we, these were marked with an X. Six, I'm sorry. Were marked with an X. Which means this one, the one that has to be set last, right? Not marked with an X. Which means that anything marked with an X isn't the ones that need to be need to be pressed or whatever. They're the ones that don't have to be touched or don't have to be set. Let's use that word now. 
Uh, instead, it's one, two, three, four, five, these five bricks, right? And I think what you have to do is you have to go like this, because then this one's last. I mean, it doesn't matter which way you do the first four, probably, but you have to do the middle one last. And here we go. Nice. Okay, what's beyond the doorway? Uh... Crazy Catherine's room, huh? It's very purple. A, I'm assuming that's Catherine. Okay, Crazy Catherine. Nice. Um, I can't tell if that's ashes or dirt. But, skull? Skull with ritualistically positioned ribs, let's say? I hope those are ribs. No. There's a lever, okay. We won't push the lever yet. Anything up here? No. Anything here? No. I could have sworn there might be something there, but no. Not a great idea to have all these candles with this tapestry, but fine. Okay, we can't open that. I must... Well, maybe the lever opens it? I don't know. Maybe we have to do something with this. It's a note, speaking of. I'm in. The hidden secrets of Crazy Catherine are mine. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be a way into the tower from here, but that's okay. Everything about this room is so strange it was worth finding it just for that. The weirdest part of all this is I've dreamt about this room, and when I got in, I had this huge sense that I'd been there before. But before I could think about it, all of the lights appeared. There were loads of them, and they took off and started buzzing all around me, and then just as suddenly flew away. But in my dreams, there were no lights. The room was as empty and quiet as a tomb. Most of all, it felt older, like I was remembering it from long ago. There's something very strange about this castle, and I want to know what it is. Yeah, you and me both. Do we do anything here? No, it's just the note. All right, let's pull the lever. We probably open that box for another collectible. Oh, we got a little story. That's cool. You know, open it, and there's a... Check this out, again, to the question of explaining why the heck there's stuff all around. Polaroid photos and a Polaroid camera inside the inside the, the, the crate, or the, the chest, rather. Let's call it what it is. Cool. All right, now I'm going to head downstairs, because we need to find one of those faces. Um, and when I get down there, we'll... Well, as I go down there, and as we have this loading screen, uh, eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut... Started loading, yeah. I'm going to cut all the footage of me just rummaging around downstairs because there's no reason for it. It's going to be boring for you guys. It's basically, now it's basically pixel hunting, room by room, right? The one thing that makes me think that there actually might be more than one face uh, is if you notice that secret passageway into Crazy Catherine's room, all the clues to get in there were in the second area. And this, I suspect, is probably kind of like that. It's like another room... There might be a little story in there, there might not be, but it's a hidden room, not just a crawl space, with, you know, scattered puzzle pieces. And I don't think there's anything in the second... We didn't find anything in the second area. I doubt that there is anything in the second area. I think they're all in the first area. And I think what I'm going to do is I might take a little extra time, and if I do find extra faces, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to splice in me finding them. And then, assuming there are enough, I think we're missing four. If I find all four... I'll take you guys to the to the room, the archway, and then we'll see what's behind it. Okay? So I'm going to cut it right here, and I will see you guys at the first face I find. All right, well, that didn't take too long. Apparently, there's a face right here. <laughs> so that's one. Okay? Again, we're looking for four. I'm going to keep, I'm going to, you know, since time is not of the essence if I'm not recording this for you guys, I'm going to keep looking for the others, and I will see you guys at the second face. Okay, so here it is. Uh, apparently there's one across from, there's the other face. It's across from the kitchen right here. Check it out. Uh, this is, I mean, you look up here a little bit, I suppose, but diabolical, guys, diabolical. Okay, so I will see you at the, th I guess the third face if I find it. Looks like there are more than one, more than one face down here. Okay, so here's another one. It's in the room. Let me just open it up. It's in the room with the tower entry. I'm assuming this is the one that you guys, whoever put the comment up, said that they saw and were just like yelling at the monitor or their phone <laughs> that I that I missed. Okay, so that's one, two, three faces. We're looking for one more. I will, uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the fourth face. 
Okay, so this one... <laughs> this one took a while. This is... Remember the secret passage that then leads... There's like a little hatch down here to another area where I don't know what that is. Uh, and then, you know, there's like all these secret uh, secret ways to move. This is behind the gated area with the f with the ceiling tile puzzle. Uh, so there's a, pu there's a face right here. I... It took a while to find this one, so apologies. Um... Okay, so that should be four. I will see you guys at the doorway. Okay, so we are at the archway. Here it is. Here are all the faces. And of course we have... Obviously we have to have a guy looking at us. Let's open up all the eyes. And... What happens? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> that overly long pause made me concerned that maybe nothing was, nothing was going to happen. Okay... All right, let's check out what's behind the curtain. It's like a hunting room or like a trophy room or something. Look at all this. Look at all these guns and heads. A lot of heads. Uh, okay, there's a box there. Can I read anything? Is there any story in here, maybe? Like a note? Although I don't imagine the kids would have come in here. Maybe like the uncle would have written something. Hmm. I suspect that that's a shotgun blast right there. Whoever that was. Um, okay, okay. Just looking, making sure here. It's a lot of books, but not a lot of reading to be done. Okay. That's fine. I think that's another shotgun blast, maybe. Um, okay, fine. Let's look at the box. Ah! It's one of these, um... There we go. So they're all Zodiac symbols at the top. Coins. Finished our coin collection in this area. Fine. So that's cool. Uh, so, okay. That accounts for everything I can think that we've overlooked for now. I'm sure there are still... I mean, let's just look at it, right? I'm still missing two photos. I'm not going to go pixel hunting for it with you guys, uh, at least not for now. I may, at the end of the day, once we're done with everything, uh, put something out. But, like, finding that last face, man, <laughs> that was enough for me for now. So, I will see you guys back at the third area, in that little area at the top of the, the spiral staircase. And we'll just continue where we left off. Okay, so we're back up here. This is where we went last time. We need to get this from underneath the glass somehow, and I'm assuming it, it has something to do with these things that we saw last time. Uh, let's just look around the room a little bit more, just actually inspect some stuff. That sounds like something's moving, doesn't it? Almost sounds like something's moving. As, uh, I hear like a scraping sound. I don't know what it is. Okay, so this controls something that moves. Fine. That didn't move, certainly. But it sounded like a like a heavy scraping sound. So something heavy was moving. Maybe like a mechanism somewhere? No? Okay. There's this thing. I don't know what that is. Oh. No, there might be a piece missing. Fine. Uh... All right, we need a key. Again, we need a key with one of these, like, knots on it. What's this? Okay. I'm assuming we need to know what that means. This, I think, has a yellow star in it, because I can hear it. Somewhere. No? Maybe I was just imagining it. Never mind. In there. No. Oh, hold on. Ah. Okay, so there is... Let's just copy these diagrams. We never know. There is a doorway that we didn't open last time. I know it's, there's a door out of here that we saw. Uh, let me just recreate these three diagrams here. There is this. There is... This with a sweep. There's this other... Very strange one. Okay. Alright, I don't know, I have no idea what that is. Um, the wheel we saw. Oh. A coin. Nice. Generous. Um, 
Yeah, we gotta figure out what that wheel mean, means, but we'll do it in a second. A oh, second. We'll do it in a little bit. There is this, and this might be. Let me just go ahead and, and um, copy this over. Because remember, we have the, 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 the thing with the six dots, right? And that sort of goes to it. It's four, three, one, seven, six, five. There's no two. Uh, okay. That's not a sol what we just found isn't a solution for this, right? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I don't think that's right because it, it, I can't find a, a proper combination of those numbers that will get us to lower than eight. Okay, let's go see what's in the hall. In well, oh, I thought this was a hallway. Oh, it's an actual other room. Jeez. Hey, buddy. Um. Ooh, ooh, exploring, no, come back, exploring artificial intelligence, clearly stained food, uh, stained food like cups and, and plates, and a journal. Okay, so this is, this is the uncle now. February 12th, 1996, the castle has been empty now for six months and I find myself missing Clementine's presence. Her inquisitive attitude was an inspiration. I am a selfish man, however, and profess guilt that it's mostly her strange connection to the eyes that I miss. What was it about her that they found so fascinating? Their interest in myself has grown over the years in which I have lived here, but it seems passive in comparison, as though I am a mere curiosity or perhaps just one part in some large puzzle beyond my understanding. Clementine was something special. I must understand why. Thankfully, for that I now have ample time. The castle is quiet again except for my ever-watchful friends, where previously they had proven elusive and temperamental in my attempts to study them, now they are far more willing subjects. Some have even submitted themselves for examination and hands-on inspection. They are fascinating creatures, made of some metallic material and powered by an internal energy source that I cannot make out. If only I could find a way to open one up. Would they allow me to take them apart? Will they get angry? What is the boundary of their sentience? Are they just mindless drones programmed by some unknown intelligence to work some secret purpose? And just what is that purpose? I have so many questions and I grow wary. I will discover the true nature of these devices from whence they came from and for what ultimate purpose. I am sure only that my purpose in life is to unravel this mystery. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got you. Phase 2, High Energy Experiment. Core Sample... Phase Amplifier X2, Containment, that's this thing, I guess. Um, and these are waveforms, one, two, three. Okay, interesting. Let me just, there's a lot of stuff I got to copy down here. Waveform two, waveform three. One, two, three. Okay, fine. Um, let's see what see what that means later on, I guess. Anything down here in the waste bin, maybe? Underneath? No. Hey, buddy. Um, other... Maybe up here? No? No, that's... Yeah, I get it. Right? I'm here. Sorry. Jeez. That's a door. We're gonna look at that later. Computer. Nice. Okay. Really are a little unnerving, aren't they, huh? Um, phase three. No idea, but this is a wormhole diagram if I've ever seen one. Focus, focusing lens, power input. Gee. I, I can't imagine we have to solve this, do we? I didn't even know what that is. It kind of looks like pi, but it can't be. It's like 870, I don't know, whatever. I can't read that notation. We can look at this. We'll look at that in a second. Oh! We will look at that in a second. Hey, man. Um, let me just look at what's on the shelves back here. Anything? No. We can't press anything. This is beyond glass. So that's the core sample. These are the amplifiers, right? That's what we saw here. And this is a waveform monitor. I can't remember the exact... The exact... Um, 
uh, name for the device, but it is, it's used in electronic testing a lot. And it's also used in old sci-fi movies to say futuristic things. But you'll see the waveform here and you can adjust what the waveform looks like. Uh, okay, let's check out the computer then. Access denied. System locked remotely. Oh, stop it. Fury of mind. Can we read all this stuff later on? Maybe. Um, no, 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 no. I don't know who. Uh, that's a dragon, but I don't know who that character is. I am not up on my myths as much as I would like. Okay, we came from there, I think. There's something... Yeah, we saw something back here. Is there something back here? Staircase up. But the server's offline. Okay, fine. Fine. I didn't want to go up there anyway. Can we open this? We can. What's here? This is a hallway. Fine. Um, are there two of these books? Dang. Orion. We saw that downstairs. Draco. Dragon. Draco, by the way, if you ever see it in the sky, is huge. It's actually a very long constellation. And a lot of the time, it... At least when I've seen it, it dips below the horizon. Because, you know... It just it doesn't rise until, like, late, late, late night. Fully. Um, okay. Okay. All right, that's an electronic switch, but I don't know what it's for. Like the switches down that we saw downstairs, right? Um, what's who's this? I don't know. Let's, let's say General Lee. It's not. Um, 1805 to 1892. Okay. Uh, we came in through that door, right? Right. And there's nothing here. Something here, maybe? No. At the top. There's a photo. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. No. Oh, here it is. Okay. Twelve eighty four to thirteen twenty six. Assuming that's supposed to be lifespans, but stop, 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 stop. Let's just go all the way around. Yeah. Okay, I'm assuming we have to make some sort of comment. I'm, yeah, there's one more here. The one down there? Yeah, there is. Okay, I'm assuming we have to make some sort of combination of these in order to then open this somehow. Or, you know, between this and... and there's probably one more over there because I'm seeing another bust. Between that and these four, we probably have to do something. No? No? What's on here? Oh! Oh, so I was right, but that's cool. Okay, so here, here's what, let's just, um, so it's the first room, we're going to go back to the first room after this, but, let's just double check something, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, right, 1, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Each dash is another 2. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And the mathematics of that hexagram that we saw are filled in stars. So this would be 5. This is a negative number. Uh, so positive numbers filled in stars, negative numbers empty stars. Cool. All right, we're going to check that out right up. No, hold on. There was a box there. What am I doing? Oh, and there's the key. So the key is for, yeah, we saw there was like a, a little a little thing next to um, the, I, I don't know, thermometer puzzle? I don't know how you want, what do you want to call it. Um, is there something here, something here? No, there is another door here. Okay, let's just at least get these dates. This guy looks really happy with himself. Okay, jeez. 1902 to 1952. Okay, and of course he's got a, a switch here. Yeah, well that was a blind guess, right? Couldn't really see it. And this guy looks very unhappy with himself. 1171 11 to uh, 1188. Okay. Before we go back to that thermometer puzzle and I embarrass myself, is there... Oh my god. 
Oh my god, how big is this area? Okay, well, let's go upstairs. Usually that's, you know. <gasps> Why? Why would you do this? So, hold on, before we read this, the Ice Dragon. So Jane came on, and when they got close to the clear, tall, beautiful flames, they saw that there was a great queer-shaped lump of ice all around the bottom of the pole. Clear, smooth, shining ice that was deep, beautiful Prussian blue, the icebergs in the thick parts, and all sorts of wonderful, glimmery, shimmery, changing colors in the thin parts, like the cut-glass chandelier in Grandmama's house in London. It's very curious shape, said Jane. It's almost like she moved back... It's almost like... She moved back a step to get a better view of it. It's almost like a dragon. It's much more like the lampposts on the Thames embankment, said George, who had noticed a curly thing like a tail that went twisting up the North Pole. Oh, George, cried Jane. It is a dragon. I can see its wings. Whatever shall we do? And sure enough, it was a dragon. A great, shining, winged, scaly, clawy, big mouth dragon made of pure ice. It must have gone to sleep, curled around the hole where the warm steam used to come up from the middle of the earth. And then, when the earth got colder and the column of steam froze and was turned into the North Pole, the dragon must have got frozen in his sleep, frozen too hard to move. And there he stayed. And though he was very terrible, he was very beautiful too. Jane said so, but George said, Oh, don't bother. I'm thinking how to get onto the pole and try the compass without waking the brute. The dragon certainly was beautiful, with his deep, clear Prussian blueness and his rainbow-colored glitter. And rising from within the cold coil of the frozen dragon, the North Pole shot up like a pillar made of one great diamond, and every now and then it cracked a little from sheer cold. The sound of the cracking was the only thing that broke the great white silence in the midst of which the dragon lay like an enormous jewel, and the straight flames went up all around him like the stalks of tall lilies. So there's definitely a pattern emerging here. So the second area had a pattern where it was all about Gemini. I'm assuming this is going to be all about Draco because, look, this is the, th th the third reference to a dragon we found, right? And what are you? On off? Cool. No. Ugh. Oh god. Uh, okay, we're not gonna do anything right now. <laughs> okay, there's entrances here, fine. Is there anything here that we should be looking at? No. No, no, no. No, not yet. There's something on the pedestal itself? No. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see what's downstairs, and then we'll go and do the thermometer puzzle, and we'll probably call it there. Oh! Check it out, it's another one of these steering wheels. Yeah, I can hear- so, this has to be connected to some sort of star thing. Because I can now hear it. There's a generator. Oh, let's, before we go down to the thermometers, let's at least see if we've turned it on. We have. Oh, okay. Witness that, I'm pretty sure this is Draco's head. Okay. Yeah, 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 that works. This... Yeah, this works. I... Am I missing something? Oh. Yeah, that's Draco. Is there something else? Man. Uh, okay, well, well, we'll puzzle that out next time. I don't know if I... Like, I don't want to start messing with it, because I don't know necessarily what it does. No? No? Something here? No. Okay, let's go check out this thermometer thing real quick. And at the very least, we have a key for... Not this, not this, not this. Right over here. We have a key for the box. Here. Let's see what this is all about. Oh. Probably controls this. Okay, so... 
Let's look at these one more time. One, two, three. Let's just assume that it's from left to right, right? Assume it's one, two, three. Now, puzzle this one out. We've got plus one, minus six, minus three, plus five. Say what? <laughs> um, negative three? No. No. Come on. No, I just can't, because I'm an idiot. I just, I just drew the dragon, uh, uh, drew the dragon, drew the, the diagram incorrectly. Um, no, we have plus seven. So there we go. We have six, 13, 10. Okay, the first one is 10. Now the next one, make sure I got it right. Just make sure I got these right before I do anything. Okay. Up here, over here, over here. Right, up, up. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine. Now we go here. This one is plus seven, minus three, minus six, plus five. Okay, that one, this one actually works. So this one is 12 minus, well, minus nine is three, okay. Weird, but sure. So minus one, minus four, yeah, three. Double check our work there. Okay, now this one is plus one, plus four, minus six, plus seven. So 12 minus six is six. So the, it's 10, three, and six. Okay, 10, one, zero, two, Four, six, eight, ten. We got to go up there. Ten, 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 ten. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, it's ten. This one is three. So this one goes here. And this one is six. Two, four, six. And goes here. Okay, cool. Push the button. Awesome! <laughs> Let's go put this in place and we will go and call it there. All right, this one goes down. Yeah, there we go. We go downstairs. We go here. Put this here. Okay. Now I know you all would probably kill me if I didn't go downstairs, so let's just go downstairs and check out what this. Whoa. Okay, that's a, that's a, came from there, didn't we? Oh my god, no. Good lord, no. Um, okay, we'll call it there. Uh, see a handle or a lever? Seeing a lot of computers here. It's probably what the server is. If we take this, if we bring this online, that's probably going to be the thing that unlocks some of the other doors. Uh, but okay, we'll leave it there. Insert disk to boot. Yeah, we need a disk. Okay, we'll leave it there. We'll come back to this next time. We'll try and figure this area out. There's at least one more space here. There is something we can interact with here. Um, and then we'll try and figure out what the heck is going on upstairs. And then also the switch puzzle in the in the hallway with, like, the busts. Okay? So if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let lets me know that uh, I'm doing something right. Let lets me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If... You know, as you have been, if you think that I've overlooked something, if you have thoughts on what I should be doing, if you think I could be doing something better, something different, uh, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. I'm